Now changing rectangular coordinates equation to polar coordinate equation requires you to know the following formulas. Uh, r is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared, which means if you square both sides, you get r squared equal to x squared plus y squared. Also, x is r cosine theta, y is r sine theta. And finally, theta is a uh, tangent inverse y over x. This last one doesn't get used a lot when you're just trying to change equations to e equations. Um, but you do have to use this when you change coordinates from uh, one to another. So I'm not going to explain too much about theta. But th these are the basic formulas that you have to know. So uh, if you have x squared plus y squared equals plus 4y equals 0, you can rewrite x squared plus y squared as r squared, whereas y is r sine theta. So you get that. And then if you divide by r, uh, then you get r plus 4 sine theta equal to 0 and you get r equals to negative 4 sine theta. Now, uh, it's a little dangerous to divide by a variable because this could be 0. Uh, so actually, if you solve this by, instead of dividing by r, if you just factor the r, then one of them will give you this. Another possibility is if r is equal to 0. but if r is equal to 0, this just gives you the origin. So uh, doing this way will give, get you the same conclusion, that this will give you the actual circle. Uh, by the way, this is a circle because if you add 4 both sides, and then this completes the square as x squared plus y plus 2 squared equals to 2 squared. So it's a circle of radius 2 centered at uh, 0 comma negative 2. So uh, this indeed will produce that, okay? All right, so that's, that's the first one. Uh, now, how about the next one? Uh, y equals to 4. Uh, in B, y is simply r sine theta. Therefore, y equals to 4 will be r sine theta equals to 4. Dividing by sine will give you r equals to 4 over sine theta. And the reason you divide by sine is because they're asking you to say r is some function of theta or theta equal to constant. So uh, that's why. Okay. Now, uh, this would be pretty good. But you, if you want to simplify further, uh, 1 over sine is cosecant. So you can also write it like this. Okay. So let's put it in parentheses because that's another good answer. OK, what about y equals to x? y is r sine theta x is r cosine theta again let's just divide by r you don't have to worry about that too much and then you get sine theta equals to cosine theta well uh, that doesn't have an r so you can't write it as r equals to something so it must be the case when theta is equal to constant so how do you get that well if you have sine theta equals to cosine theta you can divide both sides by cosine And the left side, sine over cosine, is tangent, right? And then cosine over cosine is just 1. So tangent theta is 1. When does this happen? That's when theta is equal to pi over 4, right? So uh, the answer for C would be just theta equals to pi over 4. OK. And then for D, again, we use that y is r sine theta and x is r cosine theta. So the right side will get, get you r squared cosine squared theta, whereas the left side is r sine theta. Divide by r, you get sine theta equals to r cosine squared theta. And then, because our goal is to solve for r, r must be sine theta divided by cosine squared of theta. which is perfectly fine, but you can 
further simplify this as r equals to sine over cosine is tangent and 1 over cosine is secant so you can rewrite it like this way okay but that's not necessary 